Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup declutter. I have this box full of makeup right here. Now if you do hear a little jingle going around a little bit, I do have my cat in here. She definitely likes to explore my beauty room and she's never really been in here. So um, I hope you guys do understand that if you hear her or and or see her behind me or anything like that. I don't throw out any sort of makeup as long as it's not eyeliner or mascara. Um, maybe if I know it, the product is so, so bad that it can't be saved, like a lipstick's too old. So the first product I'm going to be talking about is the Naked Cosmetics Highlighter Palette. This is what the palette looks like. You have a yellow, a blue, a green, and then you have like kind of duochrome pink to purple or I believe it's more of like an orange to blue. It's very, very weird. And then you have like a lilac -y shade, purple. Then you have just a straight up orange. Now, I don't wear crazy highlighters. That's not my kind of thing. Um, I thought maybe I'd be able to use it as eyeshadow and that totally flopped. So I'm just gonna give it up. Now, I love hard candy, but I just don't reach for this palette. It's the Hard Candy Lookbook Pro. It's an all, I, all matte it's an all matte eyeshadow, which is perfect for beginners or someone who just loves matte eyeshadows. This is what the palette looks like. I don't like it has has I don't like how it has this little itty bitty mirror right here about that long. Very inconvenient for someone, but I just don't reach for the colors at all. I just don't reach for this palette. Um, it's a shame. Squirty. No. Mommy's recording. Mommy's recording. You gotta be quiet. You gotta be quiet. You know, I like it. The formula is good. It blends out well. The black is very, very black. I just don't reach for it, though. That's a shame. It's pretty much collecting dust in my collection. Um, I have no issues with the formula. None. It's just I don't reach for it, you know? So I think this can go off to someone who will definitely use it. I got these two palettes in like a little gift bag, I guess, from Ulta when I bought one of my eyeshadow palettes from there. And I got the this little bronzer and illuminator duo. Now, the, the bronzer is way too orange for my skin tone. Would not flatter it. Um, I tried it out and it's just, it's a no-go. Um, the Illuminator, it, it's just nothing special, really. I mean, it's, it's nothing special. I mean, I have better Illuminators than that, in my opinion. But it, it, it would be a nice color, you know, if it was just a little bit bigger and maybe didn't have this bronzer attached to it because this is just something I wouldn't reach for, especially since I can't even use bronzer. I wouldn't even use it as eyeshadow. It's kind of a waste in my opinion, so I'm just going to go ahead and donate to someone. But also, this little eyeshadow palette from Ulta Beauty. Now, all these colors are beautiful. They look stunning, but I would not be able to really use this palette and really get a good look out of it. You, know, you have a bone kind of color right here. You have like a maroon, plummy kind of color. You have a sheeny kind of gray. You also have like a shimmery brown, and then you have like a shimmery reddish orange kind of shade like an autumn shade and then you have like a yellowish cream color with a yellowish base i just wouldn't wear it you know i just i don't know i wouldn't wear it i don't even know how these shadows perform so i couldn't tell you how it performs or anything like that but i just i don't need in my collection oh, i love elf but this eyebrow kit this eyebrow liner and shadow kit I like it. I liked how it looked, but I just don't reach for it in all honesty. And the only shadow, only thing that I can wear in my brows is this color right here because everything else is too light. Um, I just don't reach for it. It's pretty much just taking up space in my collection. I really don't like that. So I'm just going to go and give this to someone who likes to play with neutrals. Um, I'm thinking I might just give this one to my mom. That way, she can have something quick and easy to reach for on a work daily basis. She can throw these, two, mix these two, two shades into the crease, and she'd have a beautiful look. The formula is beautiful. It blends out nicely. It looks good in the brows. I think I have a video on it. I'll try and link it down below or above in the cards. But I really did like it. I just, I just don't reach for it anymore. I was actually gonna do like a wear test or something on this LA Colors Iced Pigment Powder, and the, it's in the shade. 
um, glisten. It's not the color that I expected it to be, honestly. It's like a bronzy brown. It's definitely not what I expected it to be. But this is what the color looks like. It's just not something that I would honestly reach for. Um, I thought it would be a lot prettier in my opinion. I didn't think it would look like that. Um, I, I thought this was like a different color. I thought this was more of a bronzy and a red or something like that, but it definitely isn't. Like, it's nowhere near that color and I just, I just don't wear brown shimmery colors, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Now you guys know that I absolutely love Makeup Revolution, but these palettes did not work for me. The Makeup Revolution Golden Bar. Now, the, this palette is an all shimmer palette. Just don't reach for this. It's all shimmer. I can't really use it. This is not an on-the-go palette for me. Um, even if I were to just throw my bronze or my crease and grab this, this still isn't something I would just travel with. Um, Makeup Revolution is a very hit or miss. I do love them overall, but they're, they are a hit and miss kind of brand. The Mint Chocolate Palette, um, I don't know what I was thinking when I got this palette. Um, I don't like it. I just, the colors, um, that yellow over there, I don't like. Um, the teals are pretty. I just don't know what I was thinking when I picked it up. It's one of those purchases. Um, I really don't like it. Um, you know, I think maybe some a lot of these products uh, I'll probably give second chances to maybe. Toss that in another video before my mother comes. That would be good. The Emily Noel, the Needs palette. Don't think this palette is for everyone. It's definitely not for every skin tone, that's for sure, because this contour shade on a very deep skin tone would not show up. I don't like how this is a contour shade. It's definitely too warm for my skin tone. It's definitely too brown for my skin tone. It makes it look like a big orange patch. I like my contour shade very, very ashy. Um, I mean, like, almost gray. Um, this blush is way too warm for my skin tone. It doesn't look good. It pretty much just looks like a big orange patch. Um, I did have some issues blending it out. Um, it did, didn't want to go in certain areas. It kind of created like a really weird harsh line no matter how much I blended it out. I love the highlighter. It is rough to the touch, but it's a very natural kind of highlight, and I do like that. Um, I really liked the shade Kindness as like a, to put all over your lid as this nice set for your concealer or just for to put on top of eyeshadow primer. Um, I didn't really use too many shades of this. I did swatch the Passion pa passion color, which was very beautiful. I liked it. But I wouldn't reach it, reach for a glittery black on a normal basis. Um, I don't like the shade. The shade, honestly, is pre actually pretty. I kind of wish that was the blush shade because that would be more flattering, I think, for every single skin tone instead of this color. Like, I wish they kind of swapped places. Um, the shade Peace was a nice transition shade for my skin tone. It's like a little bit darker. I thought that was perfect and it did blend out really nicely. But overall, I just don't reach for it. I did not want to go and test it out again. I was not excited to pick this palette up. You know, I just really wanted to see how it worked and I just, I just didn't like it. I do not like the pan size either. I think, de I definitely think it's a big inconvenience. Like, how can I fit a big fluffy brush into that blush shade? Like, come on. Oh, this is the 12S palette. This is pretty much a Morphe palette. I know that they had a Morphe palette called the 12S. It just doesn't have Morphe on the cover of it. But I just don't reach for it. It's a pretty much an all shimmer kind of palette. Like, come on. I, I'm kind of sick of these all shimmer. This is like an addition palette that I go and throw in. And I just... I'm kind of over these only shimmer palettes. That's like my one big thing that I absolutely hate when companies do this. I don't mind having an all matte palette that I can just use my highlighter to go and brighten things up. And I don't mind having a mix palette. I can't stand an all shimmer, all glitter palette. It's just, it's a, it's a big inconvenience if I want to travel. You know, I'm never going to take it to travel. All shimmer palettes are just a big inconvenience in my opinion. Um, if I were to depot them, that would be better. But I don't have anything, like, a, I don't have a Z palette, so. We also have the Belle Pierre um, Pro Concealer Palette. I don't use color concealer. It, you know, I don't like it. You know, it's going to my mom. Yeah, LA Colors Nude Palette. Now the colors are stunning. 
I will tell you that. They're beautiful. I love these kinds of colors. But I just don't reach for it. You know, I I thought I was going to reach for it more than what I did. I thought I'd reach for it maybe once or twice more. And maybe this become like a staple. But I didn't like it that much. They aren't as pigmented as I was hoping. Some of the shadow colors, I like this color right here. Is super pretty, but when you go and blend it out, it's kind of chunky a little bit. I don't know if it's like picking up on camera, but it's a little bit chunky. Um, there's no really light highlight shade. Um, this one right here, the highlight shade right there, is just a matte, and I wouldn't put that all over my lid. Um, there's no light little shade moment or a light sparkly moment to put on my lid, so it's a big inconvenience. Um, all the shimmer shades are pretty dark. That one color right there, it's it's a shimmery red, too dark for my inner portion. And the, that shimmery color right there, it's still too dark, so gone. I really did like the Wet n' Wild Rosé in the Air Palette, especially because it was a good dupe for the Modern Renaissance. But maybe I'm just not a person who would like the Modern Renaissance because I just, I wasn't really into this palette. The formula is good. Everything is good about this palette. I just don't reach for it. The red is not as pigmented as I thought it'd be. You kind of lose this color right here when you're blending it out. Um, this shade right there is very, very stunning. And the shimmer shades are really good, but I just... It's just not my thing. Um, I probably won't even get the Modern Renaissance. If I do, it's going to be a dupe. But I really didn't like this one. The formulation is really good, though. So it's very pigmented, so don't be, you know... Don't think it's bad because it's Wet n' Wild. Wet n' Wild's really good. Bronzer, the golden bronzer. Now, I really wanted this bronzer so, 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 so bad. But they're too warm on me, unfortunately. And I was hoping to wear it as, like, eyeshadow, but I can't even do it as that. But they're just so, like, no, not actually be, like, okay. I was going to use it as eyeshadow, but it's just, I just wouldn't wear these colors, honestly. Um, there are some swatches here and there, but some of them are chunky. Some of them are just very orange and warm, and they, that would not be a good bronzer look for me. So, you know, I just, nah. And also we have the Cool Bronzer, which I thought meant ashy by cool, but that's not what I meant. So that's what it looks like. I did kind of swirl my finger in it. That's why it does look like that. Um, formulation's good. I just was not expecting it to look like this. Now, this is supposed to be a blush right here. How is this supposed to be a blush? Like, what? How is that a blush? That is literally like, that. I mean, that is straight up orange. That is orange, so I don't know how that can be a blush. Um, it's all too orange for me. I mean, maybe some people like orange blush, but not my thing, and it's just really taking up space. So. so next we have the Ellen Tracy Eye Essentials Eyeshadow Palette. Now, I may wind up changing my mind and keeping it, but for now, I was... This is kind of a letdown. The colors are super, super pretty. Um, I really did like them, but when I was just swatching it just now... All these shimmer shades actually wound up being too warm on me. So we have the Blush Gems Highlighter from Elf. From Elf. The color was way too dark. Um, it's not the fact of the formulation. It was pretty bright in my opinion. I really did like it. But I have too many highlighters. I don't need something that's way too dark or everything. It's a little too orangey and a little too warm for my skin tone. So I just... Not my thing. We have this little itty bitty Maybelline lash great lash or great lash it's unopened um i just have too many mascaras i need to use i also have the note blush now i thought this would be a lot more pink but this is like this is orange orange like it's not even pink it's like straight up orange i'm not gonna wear it the color is super like it's pretty but I'm not going to be able to wear it. So this is definitely going. I ain't keeping that. 
All right, you guys, I hope you did like this video, and I hope you did like part one of this haul declutter video, and be sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.